what's up? I have seen people create bug tier lists, and I've seen people eat bugs, but I haven't seen anyone combine the two. So that's what this video is. <laughs> I'm gonna be making a edible bug tier list. Um, I have quite the selection of bugs I will be eating today. Um, there's gonna be timestamps in the void. Um, if you wanna skip around, I'm gonna put on screen, these are the bugs that I'm gonna try. If you do wanna see me finish the bug, I will upload a separate mukbang video where I finish it. Like, I'm not gonna eat the whole scorpion right now, but I, I will finish it just in a separate video because I wanna get things moving along. Okay, if you want to bust out your ruler um, to get an idea of the size, these are the weaver ants. Now I'm assuming that these are all queen. I thought that it's supposed to be a mix, but these all look like queen ants. Oh, mm. it's a, it's... Psychologically, just for a second there, I was like, oh, no, 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 what am I doing? <laughs> I'm trying to keep my composure here. I'm trying not to be an annoying asshole that, like, freaks out. Okay, let's go in for seconds because, um, I'm gonna give you my honest review, okay? I'm giving you my honest review right now. <laughs> it's got this, like, nice seasoning to it, which I like. Like, salty seasoning. It has, like, a very mushroomy, like dried mushroom flavor, but as you continue, like towards the end <laughs> of, you, of, of its time in your mouth, it it's like a little bit bitter. I don't know, but like it's, it's very airy, it's very light. Um, I generally like it. I think the Weaver Ants are pretty good. I place these as a solid B. These are a solid B tier. I don't think I'll get them again, but I will happily eat the rest of the bag. Okay, what's up? It's me from the future. Um, so I was just cleaning up, putting things away, and I found, I saw like at the top of the bag, just this one little ant. Because that's the size of a queen versus the size of an ant. No wonder I got confused. They're completely different sizes. So um, I'm just gonna taste test this tiny group of ants that I managed to find. Okay, I got my like tiny little weaver ants that you can barely see. Um, they don't taste like anything, they taste like the seasoning. Like unlike a queen, which actually has a flavor. I'm gonna put the regular Weaver Ants at a C just because I legitimately can't taste it. Like, they just taste like seasoning. The Worker Ants are basically just reduced to asses, heads, and legs, so. <laughs> um, yeah, so C tier for the Worker Ant. Yeah, it's just a nice little silkworms. the hell is that flavor? It's not bad. It's not like I'm grossed out or anything. I'm just confused. I don't know what my face is reading right now, but like, I'm not grossed out. I'm just very confused as to what I'm tasting right now. <laughs> yeah, it's got this like light, airy... Mm, yeah, I don't think it's nut. It, I don't know. It's really hard to pinpoint. Like, it's not bad. That's the thing is that I'm not repulsed by it. It's not like I'm disgusted by it. It's just weird. <laughs> Um, again, I'm gonna have to put that one as a B tier. Now, I don't know if it's just because these are all mixed into the same bag and so it kind of has the same flavor to each other, but I don't know. I don't know, it's not bad. It might be just because they use the same seasoning. I'm not sure. So that's a little grasshopper. The legs have been removed. A couple of grasshoppers still have legs on them. I don't know if I'm supposed to eat them or not, but we'll see. Mmm. Oh, that was crunchy. Oh, oh, I did not expect that. <laughs> the grasshopper is like kind of a nutty flavor. Um, grasshopper is straddling C or D tier. Like it's not bad, but it's like, I'm not really enjoying the grasshopper. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to place the grasshopper at a D tier. I believe this is the field cricket. Could be wrong. I like this one better. I like the field cricket better than the grasshopper, maybe because it's just less crunchy, but this is interesting. It doesn't have that bitterness 
that the grasshopper has. But this field cricket is really good. Um, and that's going to be solid B tier. All right, here we have the sago worm. Again, a couple centimeters long. This one I'm really excited for because I've heard a lot of good things about this one. And also, the reason I got this one is because I can finally live out my dreams of being Timon and Pumbaa. You know that, like, scene where they're eating these bugs? I feel like this is the closest I'm going to get to that experience, so... Oh, let's go for the head first. Again, nutty. Oily. There's a little bit of oil in this one, which is to be expected. I'm a little bit disappointed. I thought that it'd be a bit more of a momentous occasion. But I did live out my dreams, ultimately, of being like Timon and Pumbaa. Um, it's just fine. I'm gonna put it as C tier. Um, I'm a little bit disappointed. I thought that it would be better, but it's fine. Here is the mole cricket. Yeah, so these are some big boys. They freak me the fuck out. Now we're moving on to the mole cricket. This is the one that freaks me out the most. Like, this freaks me out more than the water bug. There's something just so fucking hideous about this thing that I just, bleh, just disgusts me. You disgust me. You're a disgusting little piece of shit. Perhaps I judged you too harshly. Ugly, super disgusting, very hideous, but pretty good, honestly. Solid B tier. I don't know if I'd go so far as to say that it's an A, but I'd say it's a very strong B. Um, so here is the diving beetle. It's beautiful and shiny. Let's see if I can get this to focus a little bit better. Um, you can see its little eyes. Look at this shit, you can move its legs around. Because I don't know if I'm supposed to eat, just eat it, or if I'm supposed to like, like pull it apart. Like, am I supposed to eat this? I just, I, I just pulled it apart. <laughs> am I supposed to eat this? Am I supposed to eat the wings? Am I supposed to eat the head? I don't know how much to eat. Wait, let me... Oh, that's hard. Oh, look at that. Oh, it broke. Oh, well. Kind of cool. Mmm. Okay, that's fun. Ooh. Oh, I broke it. Whoops. <laughs> Silly me. It reminds me of horses. For some reason. If you've ever been on a farm with horses and that horsey smell, that's kind of what it reminds me of. Um, but it's not bad. It's definitely not bad. Um, I'm not like actively disliking it, but I'm not actively liking it either. I'm going to put this as a C tier. The scorpion, one of the, the other main attraction. So compared to the ruler um quite large uh pretty skinny honestly uh unfortunately all of its legs broke off which is very genuinely tragic um so yeah oh look you can see it's behind me focus look at that bad boy all right let's go for the scorpion you are tough sir Interesting. I'm having a really hard time just pinpointing the flavors to what it's the most similar to. I think that just judging it by this this thing alone is not a good measure, so we're gonna go for the rest of the scorpion because, you know, people don't just stop at the claws. Um. Look at that. I ate its entire ass. It is so hard to figure out if I like this or not. Like, I'm struggling here. Um. 
it's just, I guess it's fine. Like, it's not disgusting, obviously. Um, yeah, like, I mean, yeah, like, obviously, like, none of these bugs have been outright dis repulsive. Like, I haven't given any E or F tiers yet, but I've also never given an A or S tier, you know? But if bugs are just kind of, I think, an acquired taste. Uh, it might change in the future. But, um, the scorpion... I'm just gonna go with C tier, honestly. Yeah, I'm deliberating way too much on this, because, like, I don't like it, but I also don't not like it, you know? Like, I don't know, it's just kind of neutral, it's just kind of weird, it's really hard to pinpoint the taste, and so I think I have to stop trying to compare it to what I already know, and just kind of accept it as it is. Alright, here is the, um, giant water bug. Unfortunately, its little front leg here has been... Uh, broke off and but it has the rest of them uh, mostly. I actually looked up how to eat this so you're supposed to remove the wings. What the fuck is going on? Doesn't it have like a little ass thingy? It has this little tube like a little scuba. Like apparently you're supposed to scoop out the meat and like I think what's so intimidating about this is that there's just... Something went flying. Now, I've seen some people just crunch right through it and I don't think that's how you're supposed to eat it, but at the same time, like, I don't really have a lot of options here. It's kind of hard to get to, like, this, this, this is a big, big, oh, there we go. There's the wing coming off. Look at that wing. Had to taste test the wing, doesn't taste like anything. It's got juices. I like how I'm like, ooh, there's juices, and then immediately lick them. I would eat another water bug, honestly. Um, overall, the water bug, um, for taste, I would probably put it at like a B or A tier. Um, but I will buy it again in the future. I would really like to taste them like on their own because the thing is is that it came with the other it came with the scorpion and it came with the diving beetle in the same package and so i wonder if the flavors like influence each other so that's like the only thing that i'm questioning so i will get another water bug package just because i'm really interested in it and um i did like it you know when you get the over the initial i think it's just the eyes that are just like massive and staring at you but when you get past that like it's honestly fine. Like, it's not a... I don't know. It's, it's, it's just a water bug. I mean, it's it's obviously not bad, considering how popular it is as, like, a, a snack. Um, but yeah, like, I generally... I actually really like that one. Um, I'd say it's straddling B or A. Uh, maybe an A. Maybe an A. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, this, there you go. You can see the little head. It does feel... This one feels a little oily. So it's kind of weird, but... That's where they are. Last one, um, bamboo worms, which, um, I don't know, it's like people would probably expect to finish off with a bang with the, the water bug, but no, I have the bamboo worms, which I saved best for last, apparently, because this one has a lot of good reviews, so. Okay, the seasoning is nice, but you know, it's just salt. Salt is good. It'll crave that mineral. Very airy. A little oily. They have just like this unique flavor. That's the thing with a lot of these bugs is that it's really hard to pinpoint exactly what the flavor is. I guess nutty. Nutty's a good one. Um, I don't know. I, th I think a lot of bugs just have a nutty flavor to them. I put the bamboo worms at like an A tier, honestly. They're pretty good. Obviously, considering I'm going, I've gone in for like thirds. I've just eaten like five bamboo worms, and I'm like, oh, I wonder what rating this would be. I think it got a lot easier as I went on to just kind of accept it. <laughs> um, 
I think, I don't know, it's just that initial apprehension. I think it's just, I don't know, that initial, like, uh, factor you kind of get over. Um, I don't know, it's like, I don't know, a lot of these bugs are just, they're not bad tasting. They're just weird. And unusual. It's just I'm not used to it. Like, it's, it's just, it's a new food that I have to get used to. But, um, once you get over the, like, the mental barrier of, oh my god, I'm eating a bug, <laughs> um, it gets better. It's not that big of a deal. Oh yeah, and I'll probably do, you know, when I save up a little bit, um, I'd love to do, like, get some more bugs because I'd like to just try more. So, yeah. Okay. Peace.